So I'm here with John from the main. How's it going? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. Not feeling too sad at Sad Summerfest yet, no, surprisingly. Just sweaty. Yeah, a lot yeah. of that here in Orlando. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this festival because this was kind of the main's brainchild to start with. Yeah. Um, so that's no easy feat to start a festival. It's so. certainly not. <laughs> so how did this happen? How did this come into fruition? I think first and foremost it takes multiple bands to have a festival. Yes. So I think firstly it started by us um, getting on the same page with the champs and with Mayday yeah. and really just voicing our opinion about what the festival sort of meant in our eyes and mm -hmm. then hearing what they kind of had to, to input too. So yeah. um, really I think what differs and makes this varied from other fests is, is that it's curated by the bands. Right. Um, yeah. And we, having put on a couple 8123 fests of our own yes. Yes. back at home in Arizona, um, we felt like we've had a, an okay grasp on what it takes and, and sort of like, I think what we've really noticed on this run specifically is that the small little details go a long ways yeah. for a lot of people. Um, so it's really about curating the day and making it feel like it's an experience just for the people that bought the tickets. Right. Um, and not really, it, it, it's all inclusive, but it's for specific people, you know? Yes. So I think, um, yeah, getting the bands involved and going from three bands to 10 yes. on some of these shows has been really insane. So it's been, uh, it's been a learning a process for even sure. before you know a lot of the planning um, but even with the first couple dates in, yeah. in Texas so um, really excited that it, it all actually panned out so yeah and the thing is you have such a great community of people and you've built such a great friendship with so many people in the industry they have such a great team out here absolutely so there's so many people out here that are just making it happen yeah awesome. and there's a lot of people that have been affiliated with other productions like this that yes. we got to work with on this this summer so it's been really nice and, and again a huge learning experience for us um, to hear sort of and to see how it runs from right. the other side of the fence so yes. it's been nice it's been uh, definitely illuminating so <laughs> we're having fun yeah for sure and another thing too is that I know there's a lot of nonprofits out here and the yeah. community is a really big aspect of it too mm -hmm. um, which definitely sets it apart as well right? yeah absolutely Chelsea uh, Dunstall that works for us and has worked with us for a long time yep. she has been really great about sort of jumping on that initiative and, yes. and bringing people from the communities that we're playing in, um, bringing them in, making them feel a part of it, empowering the people that are coming to the shows to also give back and, and to be active and to get excited about being alive and being a part of something bigger than themselves. So. Yes, shout out to Chelsea. She's shout out amazing. to Chelsea. Yes, and also shout outs while we're at it. Um, I would love for you to do the honors of plugging your new album. Talk yeah. a little bit about it super quick. Uh, you Are Okay is the title of the album. Yes. Uh, it's only been out for three months, which is crazy. We've yeah. already done a lot of touring, but we have a lot of touring to do. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Thanks for listening. Yeah. That's kind of the only reason we can do it, so thank you. Yeah, and it's already been so well loved. That well, is thank sure. you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Another one in the books. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Well, everybody watching, make sure you check out Sad Summer Fest if you uh, are in any of the cities that it's coming to. Um, I'll leave a link down below. Yeah. Heck yeah. And uh, we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.